G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Back on the Bilberman track, heading down to take a look at the Mount Dale Shelter. Beautiful out here. Nice little walk down from the Dale Road. It's about two point something kilometers. It doesn't matter, nice and easy. All right, let's see you down at the shelter. There you go, made it to Mount Dale Shelter. It's a nice little walk in it was. I think the first thing I'll show you is the shelter and the water tanks to show you what's here. And then we'll go a wander, show you where the dunny is. And also we'll have an explore and see what camp pitches we've got. And which ones can be used for a hammock. So if you remember, I came here a few years ago and there's a couple of pitches there uh, there was some nice trees for hanging a hammock but if you bring in a hammock your tree protectors you don't want to be damaging the bark on the trees here's the shelter at Mount Dale it's big enough to sleep we're looking at about 12 maybe 13 we've got the large bench underneath the shelter there this one has been extended I think originally it was just a shorter one and that bench was there and there's a smaller one in the middle but now they've extended the bottom put a new step in so you can get up and down easier we've got a bunk bed there big enough for two people or three out of squeeze but i wouldn't go with the three not unless you're a family and there's kids up there again this side the same the flyers are happy now i'm here they're all buzzing around you've got this big stage bit And if I remember right, it's in here, it's your truck trail log book. Sign into that. So if you're going from shelter to shelter or just coming down to visit like I am, I'll fill that in in a moment. People know you've been here and where you're heading to and from. And if you're walking an end to end, they know that you've come through this point on what day and they know where to look for you if there's a problem. Again, back to the shelter now. We've got, like I said, the picnic bench outside which is sitting quite nice in the shade of the sun there we've got just the one water tank which is by the sounds of it so look oh it's got some in there probably just under halfway by the sound of it but if you're walking in always make sure you've got enough water just in case the tanks don't have any in and there's your fire pit or your firing and a nice log to sit on next to it now this time of the year you won't be allowed to use that because it's very warm and it's Christmas or New Year now and we're in fire season so there's fire bands on at all of the shelters now the dunny is down this way take a nice walk down walking into this shelter you can't see it until you're about 20 feet, 30 feet away because it's just surrounded with all these beautiful grass trees. And just ahead of us, as you can see, up there is Mount Dale. Now these dunnies, the outside, outdoor toilets, they're not flushing toilets, they're composting toilets. So, no dropping wet wipes down there, and ladies, if it's that time of the month, unfortunately you have to carry that out with you too. You can only use the toilet tissue, or else it will destroy the composting. No chemicals to be added, 
because you'll end up destroying the compost. Oh, that's it. You end up destroying the compost and it starts stinking and you get flies. Now, some good people have been here and left toilet bowl. But not all shelters have toilet bowl. So always remember to carry your own. And there is a, a bolt on the door. But also remember to always put the lid down because we don't want any animals falling down the toilet. I can see a clearing up there, I don't know if that's a road or a camp pitch, so we'll go and have a look. It looks like a, uh, I don't know, <laughs> let's get there and have a proper look. Oh, it looks like the old four wheel drive track to get into service to shelter if need be. Yeah, fresh tyre tracks. That's probably the chap who uh, passed me from the Department of uh, Wildlife and all that stuff. Who looks after the park here or the bush? Department of Parks and Wildlife, I think it's called. That's it, I think. I keep changing the name every few years. It used to be Conservation of Land Management. This just notice on the way back. It's that little Christmas orb spider there. Only a baby one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and he's got a. That's him there, and he's got his mate up here. So there's two of them. I I love it. I do. I love the spiders out here. Orb spiders won't hurt you. There's another one here. It looks like a she and she's fixing her web. Let's not get too close to damage it. This shelter, I got two ticks from here about five years ago. I was lucky I found them within like an hour or two. So they hadn't bedded in. Well, one had, I just gave them a twist and they came out. The other one I'll just pick straight off. I right, nearly back down at the shelter and then we're going to take a ride here up to the camp pitches. Yeah this this is a lovely one. You feel like you're back in the prehistoric time with all the grass trees and the nature, this is beautiful. Now uh, this tent pitch, the first one you come to on the right just lovely. It's level. It's a bit hard by the looks of it. A couple of ants but nothing serious. I think they're just beginning to make a nest there or they're popping up. Let's wander a bit further. There's another one you can sneak in there. That first one is probably be big enough for a small three person tent if you want to use. You could squeeze a two person tent in here. Uh, what I normally do is, I'll just say a normal hiking tent. A lot of people use lightweight two person ones. So I'll, I'll say this is big enough for the one tent class and it has um, a two person hiking tent. But you could squeeze, looking at it here, a second one in. Oh, if you've got your swag, you can throw your swag down there and be nice and comfortable. Opposite that one on the left, this one's big enough for two, easy, and probably squeeze a third one in here. But the ground is nice, fairly level, goes up a bit this end. And let's carry on through the grass trees, and we've got another one here. That will comfortably fit one tent on that. Fairly level. And we've got another one beside it. I think this one I'm standing on is probably originally just a track, but it's just widened as it's gone. But that's big enough there for one easy 
probably squeeze two. And next to that, this one's a bit rocky up the top there. If you wanted to throw a swag, you could throw a swag in across there, I suppose. Be a bit bumpy, but if you've got a decent air mattress, that would be okay. I think the best part would be down here, the lower level. It's all, like I said, all compact. A bit sandy, a few ants. There's an ant hole coming up there. Me personally, I'd stay away from this one. But no matter where you go, from Calamander down to here and further, you're going to get ants out here. That's all the pictures are. Yeah. Let's see if I can remember where I hung my hammock, but let's see, it looks actually something like over there, but it's all growing in again. Yeah, there's no really in not any uh, really good pictures for hammocks here now. Not even that one. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a shame. Let's keep looking just in case I missed it. So I know two of us actually had a hammocks down here. I suppose you could squeeze a hammock between these two trees. You have to have a nice large strap that end. Looks like somebody's been at this one. I don't know whether it was an animal or somebody actually stopping at the shelter. And there's another orb spider. This web. Yeah. Ah, this, I think there's only that one where we could hang a hammock here now. That's a shame. Yeah, so if you come into this shelter, you're probably uh, better off being in a tent with you. So there you go, that's Mount Dale shelter and campsite. Beautiful campsite to stop at. I've stopped here four or five times and every time it's just been great, loved it. And behind the mountain there in the morning, if you get the sunrise, it's just glowing and it's just it's just beautiful early hours so i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you'll be notified of all future videos and hit that thumbs up button the like button and share with all your mates or anybody that you know that may like this type of video and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time Get out there, have some fun and take care.